Welcome to the new Moventum office. We recommend using any of the modern browsers for optimal performance. For example, Chrome, Edge, Firefox or Safari. Your login data remain the same, so you can use your usual username and password to log in. On the homepage, you can view our announcements, corporate actions, list of new and updated forms, and e-news. We have also added a support section here at the bottom of each page, with access to user guides and to tutorial videos. Now I will walk you through our new navigation bar. On the platform tab, as usual, you can create new accounts here on the right hand side, such as a personal, joint, corporate or minor account. And you can place trades here under order entry. You also have the account and product overview as well as the transmit queue and the reports and commission section. While you can create customized performance and commission reports here, we have actually moved the output, so the generated um, reports, up here to the main navigation bar in the post box. This is where you will find all your um, created and scheduled reports in future. The former research section was split into Morningstar and Momentum Asset Management. Morningstar is our partner to provide you with substantial product research resources. We've also recently adopted their ESG rating in our product overview, which you can find under platform. Moventum Asset Management presents all information with regards to our Moventum uh, portfolios that are Move Active Plus Active, Moventum Fund of Funds, Move Active ETF, Move Easy. We've also added the weekly commentaries to the market commentary section here. The former sections Marketing and Momentum Office Resource were consolidated under the tab Downloads. This is where you can find all required forms concerning the account opening process, such as security transaction forms, payments in various currencies and maintenance and all this in several languages. Next to that we have the advisor registration forms and the user guides for Momentum Office and Account View as well as for the reporting and Morningstar tools and in the subsection marketing and support you can access the marketing fact sheets and brochures. The former operator console is divided into language and preferences. This means that the language can be changed anytime after login. Under Preferences, you can select the advisor number and you can change the settings for file exports. If you're organized as a pool and thus have access, you would also see the setup of the Four Eyes principle here. I will now show you our new account opening form. There are a few changes in the basic information section. So, for example, we have reduced the number of account models to four. You can now select either Move Classic, Move Flex, Move Easy or Move Active. Depending on the account model that you select, additional fields might pop up. For example, for Move Flex, there will be a processing fee and a service fee. For Move Active, there will be a portfolio model field. And for Move Easy, there will be a portfolio model and a portfolio field. The portfolio field for the Move Active account model is actually uh, on one of the later pages because we have also added an investor profile questionnaire section and after answering those questions there will be the option to select the correct portfolio. We also have a more information button here so again depending on the account model that was selected there will either be the question about the forwarding of trailer fees or like in the case of MoveFlex also the option to add a commission discount. 
Then we have a new section about the digital identification and electronic signature. By default, this is always set to yes on the new account opening form. This means that the client receives an email from our partner WebID. On the personal email address after completion of the account opening form by the advisor and the email includes a link to a step-by-step -step description of the verification process with WebID. The clients uh, should have their mobile phone for the TAN code and also the ID card for the ver verification at hand when connecting with the WebID agent. At the end of the process, the client receives an email from our partner WebID on their personal email address. The email includes a link to a short video guide of the verification process and a button to start the identification with WebID. We recommend that the clients have their mobile phone ready to receive a code and the ID card for the verification before connecting with the WebID agent. Other new fields were added to the personal details section of the account holder. For example, we have added the uh, option for a politically exposed person for every account holder and also for every beneficial owner in the case of corporate accounts. So. If indeed the holder is a PEP, then several other questions will pop up that need to be answered. We have also further down included questions um, to cover KYC and FACTA. So we have here the source of funds question and the question uh, regarding US tax residency. In the fiscal residence section, it is now possible to add up to three fiscal residences. As you can see here, you can also um, collapse them again. And this means no additional forms are required to be filled out at the end of the process because everything is now included in the account opening form package. On the next page of the account opening form, we have as usual the disbursement account section. And in addition, you now have the option to also add SEPA, direct debit or standing order details. We have a dedicated page for the online access to account view. From now on, the accesses will be created automatically for each account holder. The clients will receive, as usual, an email with the username and an activation link in order to receive the password via text message after the advisor has sent the account opening documents for processing. The post box where the client will receive documents such as account statements, transaction confirmations, quarterly reports and income statements is automatically included in the account view access. Should the client want to receive all those documents via postal mail for an annual fee, then the option can be selected here, but only if the client has also decided against the digital onboarding. In the context of the digital onboarding, there's a page where you can see which documents will be part of the account opening package that is being sent to the clients for electronic signature. So the documents that will always be part of this package are the account opening form, the terms and conditions and fees and charges. Optionally, you could add the document with the information of risks on financial instruments. And for the security transfer form or the power of attorney, we would ask you to fill those out and send those to our office because oftentimes our partners only accept the originals. Once you click on send, the account will be created and this account opening package will be sent uh, via our partner WebID to the client. After sending the account opening form for processing, you will receive this confirmation message alongside the information that the account was blocked for due diligence until the team has reviewed all mandatory documents. Meanwhile, 
The account status in the transmit queue will show as blocked. After the account was activated, you will be informed via email and the client will receive the welcome email as usual, along with the information that the account is open for payments. In case some documents should be missing for the approval, you will also receive an email stating further details and then you can take it from there. As soon as the client has electronically signed the agreement, you will be notified via email and from any point in time onwards you can retrieve the signed agreement if you go to platform account browse and then select an account and go to the details and you will see that there is a new tab called documents and if you click on that uh, you will have a folder uh, with the account opening package you can then just open the signed agreement in PDF version here. Since this is a Move Active account that I selected as an example, you also have the Investor Profile tab here, which is also new. So here you can view the questionnaire separately. For the account types, joint, corporate and minor account, it is now possible to add additional holders. This means that for the joint account, you can add now a third account holder on the screen. And for the corporate account, you can add a second legal representative. And for the minor account, you can add a second legal guardian. So I'm taking the example of minor account. This is the usual first page with the information for the first account holder. Then you skip over to the second page where you see uh, the information that are required for the first legal guardian. And when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see this icon with the plus. And if you click on it, you can actually fill out the information for the second legal guardian. I would like to show you a few changes that we have made on the corporate account form. First of all, we have added the legal entity identifier and the VAT identification number. Next to the first legal representative, you can now also fill out the fields for a second legal representative by clicking on this plus icon. On the last page, we have added the option to add several beneficial owners. If you select the second to fourth answer, um, the fields for a beneficial owner will open and you can fill out the same information as for the account holders. This includes also the politically exposed person questions and if you wanted to add a second or a third beneficial owner that's also now possible and at the end of the process you do not need to fill out an additional form. This can all be done now here on the interface. One of our new account models is called Move Active. And when you select this account model, we've integrated an investor profile questionnaire on the account opening form here on Moventum Office. For this example, I have selected a joint account and I have actually added three account holders. And now you will see on the page of the investor profile questionnaire that the names of each of these three account holders are added here. So all of the account holders will have to answer um, the questions. So there is a particularity here. So for example, um, John in this case uh, might have a bit more experience um, than, than Jane. Jenny actually has even more experience than John. When calculating the final risk class at the end of this questionnaire, the um, system will take the lower of the values of the three account holders. In this case, for this question, only two points will be added into the final calculation as opposed to uh, six or eight. Mm -hmm. 
You can then later on see once everything was filled out that there is a risk score um, here at the bottom for the uh, overall suitability check. Well, since now um, only two points were, were calculated, it is classified as a conservative risk profile. And here, when you hover over the question mark, you can actually see the table and how um, many points the account holders uh, must have in order to be classified as a certain a customer risk profile.